<laughs> All right, guys. So today the Subi's back in here. I'm hopefully gonna dial in the fitment today. I've got uh, the 20 mil spacers to get away from the the strut. So hopefully I can get those in. I mean, I need to shorten all the studs on the rears anyway, and then the fronts. I want to do the same thing. So <clears throat> yeah, hopefully I can dial in the fitment. Um. Turned out I was adjusting them, adjusting them wrong. I do need to turn that uh, the plate on the bottom that connect that the two main strut bolts go to. I need to twist that down to adjust the ride height. I don't know why it was working on the front, but yeah, I gotta fix up the back here because it's it rides pretty freaking stupid right now. So <sighs> gonna work on the back first and then worry about the front after. Just had this strut off. Um, I just adjusted this uh, to go up. Oh wait, that's gonna make it lower. Oh my god. Well, I lowered this down anyway. See, I need to make this lower so it put, yeah, okay. Adjust it up now. Just need to cut down the lugs to, uh, actually, I'll put the wheel on first. See, so just from doing that, look at the fitment now. This was the tight side with fitment. Now it's, now it's fine. That's, I don't know, so weird. And I just checked the fitment on the strut now, and now it's not close to rubbing. So weird. I like, why did that change anything? See, now it's like, what do I do? Do I cut the studs down, put the spacers on anyway? Like, I... Like, that's good fitment now. I definitely need spacers up front, but there's no, yeah, there's no like str strut rubbing happening there now. So I think I need to do the same thing to this side anyway. Yeah, I need to do the same thing here and see what happens. Uh, I have this one back in. I twisted this down once again and I left some room up here so it should be a little bit softer. Um, I'm pretty sure this is not going to turn out equal on both sides for whatever reason. But uh, yeah, let's let's see how it does. All bolted up. Let's uh, give this a try. Okay, here we go. Fitment. I can barely get my finger through there. Fitment here. I can even less get it through there. So now it actually seems like it's even. It's just the camber plate on this side is adjusted uh, fully out. So I'm gonna adjust it back to normal and see what we got here. And Maybe that'll be drivable now. I do want wider, but like, I think I spoiled this for you in the last thing. I said I was getting two 15s for the back. So once that comes, I can dial this in real nice. Already these two and uh, they clear the spacer. So let's see if I can do this. Yeah, they clear the spacer and it's on there right now. And look how much more aggressive that is. So let's uh, lower this down. Yeah, I'm gonna need a bit of camber. Just a bit. Definitely a lot better fit now though. Wow. Done on it now. As you can see, this, I took the spacer off just cause um, like when I had it on, it was like rubbing everywhere. And the camber plates didn't adjust it enough that I could camber it way out. So that was kind of disappointing, but um, it's fine. It's all good. This is, should get me going and then I can work from here and figure out what I want to do. So yeah, it's sitting on the ground now. So I'm gonna get all the tools away from here. Uh, take it for, actually I'll just put the rear seat back in. Take it for a test drive, 
should be a lot softer ride in the rear now. And yeah, that's, that's where we're at. The spacers didn't work out, but that's all right. So the next thing I'm doing today, after I'm gonna clean out this first and then I'll get to this. But I got some uh, eBay LEDs that came in. So I'm gonna throw those. That's the main one there. That's all I gotta do. Unplug it, plug the new one in. And I will show you why. Because, you know the plastic things that go behind the headlights to hold them into the socket? Well, these, like these lights, are bigger than the sockets themselves. And then this wire gets in the way of, of plugging it in. So there's just no way that they're going to work. Oh, something else for me to sell. So, Subi is drivable again. Foils are done. Seats in. Thanks for watching guys. I just gotta fix the fitment on it eventually. The fronts definitely need work. Uh, but they already rub like crazy, so... What do I do? Thanks for watching guys. See you in the next one.